Hey loves, so today I'm going to do a little demo and review of the new contour palettes from Wet n Wild. See they are the Wet n Wild color icon contouring palettes. There are two shades. I was able to find these. Not all of the Walmarts around me carry Wet n Wild, so I did have to go to one that was a little further away. But I found both of them in stock. What's really nice is the Walmart website will tell you if something is in stock, if it's low in stock. And so far, knock on wood, like it's been really accurate for me. So hopefully you'll be able to find them around you. Definitely worth the find. What I have to say about these, let's see. So the Dolce de Leche is the lighter one. It's got the nice, perfect contour shade for me. Like I'm wearing it right now and it's one of the first ones that I found that I don't go super overboard. I am wearing a little bit of this one too though. But then it's got the highlight that is actually pretty pale. They are super like, they're soft, but they're powdery. So they're super powdery, but still soft. They feel really silky. So you can see they're not super dark at all. So this one clearly is the pale, it's the highlighter, and that is the contour in this one. Let's see if you can even see those. I'll definitely insert swatches so you can see a little better. They're gonna be really hard to see, but you can kind of see them. So I'm really loving this guy. It's really nice to have one that I don't go completely overboard on. I feel like when I use it with, let's see, when I use it with this contour brush, that's much softer and it's not, it's dense, but it's not as dense as my Sonia Kashuk one. So this one is much more dense and really packs the color on. So I did go back in with the deeper one a little bit in the back of my cheekbone, but on days where I just want a really soft contour, this is great. I just kind of fluff it on and good to go. It's just a little bit of contour, not like bam, chisel cheeks. So, and they've got a little bit of pink in them, I feel, on my skin anyway, it brings out pink in my skin. So when I wear them, I've gotten away with just wearing just that and like a little bit of highlighter and easy peasy. So let me show you the darker one. I think the only negative thing about these would be if you are deeper skin tone, you're not gonna get a ton of use out of these because I feel like this one, I feel like that one's for light skin tones and then this one would be medium skin tones. There isn't really anything for deep skin tones right now. I feel like this one is definitely a softer, it feels a little silkier, and look at that, it's a little more opaque than the other highlighter. So this one again is Caramel Toffee, but yeah, the contours are not super deep. So there is the highlighter and there is the contour, and I still have those, you can barely see them, but those are um, Dolce de Leche on my hand. Can't even see it. You can't even see those. So that is from why do I keep forgetting the name? Caramel Toffee. So Caramel Toffee are these two, and then these two are Dolce de Leche. Maybe I'm gonna put some uh, primer on my hand because, you know. Maybe you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on my hand. I feel like that's gonna be, and kind of prime my hand so you would see how it would actually look on some foundation. I'm just gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte and I have it in light porcelain, 010. I have a video on this if you want to see it, you can find it somewhere on my channel. Okay, so first I'm gonna swatch the Caramel Toffee one right here. This is the deeper one, which is still not that deep, but. So again, that highlight is definitely more pigmented and it's not dark, it's just, you know, compared to my skin, it's not gonna give me a highlight. I could probably get away with using it as a setting powder. So I'm gonna kind of pack these on just so you can actually see the color. Especially if you apply them when your foundation is still kind of dewy and wet, you're going to get much more color payoff. Yeah, that highlight matches like that foundation, like exactly, you can't see it at all. Yeah, you literally, like, it's maybe a little bit, a little bit right there. And then let me dip into Dolce de Leche. You kind of see that, see it's much lighter. I think when you swatch them out like this where you can actually see them, you can tell the tone difference. In the pan, those two contours look really the same, but the light one's a little pinkier and that one's just a little deeper. So hopefully that gives you an idea and you can see that that highlight highlights my actual skin, so that's good for me. I would have to pack that on though, but I like it underneath the eyes, so I'm liking it so far. And then the other one pretty much matches my exact skin tone. So if you're medium skin tone to anything darker, that's definitely gonna work as a highlight for you. 
if you are pale like me and maybe not but you can probably get away with this one anything my shade of skin or especially if you're a little darker than me definitely gonna love this guy yeah they are crazy good prices i really am enjoying them i feel like i finally have a contour that is i can't go overboard on like even with a ton on my face like i know my i mean i know i got a lot of makeup on but my contour is normally so much crazier a little overboard on the blush so yeah what do you guys think have you guys checked these out i think they were like 3.94 or something like that they were under four dollars each at walmart they are a walmart exclusive so you will have to hunt them down on a walmart around you that carries wet and wild and again definitely check out the walmart website and find it on there and then find it by store so you don't have to go to a whole bunch because i would I was looking at like all the Walgreens around me trying to find this and then when I figured out it was Walmart exclusive I felt pretty silly. So I'm glad that you can at least search that on the Walmart site. Okay loves, we're going to use the new Wet n Wild contouring palettes today. I'm going to of course go for this super light one. So Dolce, Dolce de Leche is the much lighter one. So I'm going to go with that one but I do, I've used the contour in this one. I don't think I could use the highlight. It definitely would be a highlight on me but they're very nice so let's jump into this one what I'm loving about these palettes is it's really hard to go overboard they're not super dark either one of them they're not near as deep as a lot of my other contour shades so I'm gonna start with my big fluffy contour brush and just dip it in there look at that why why forever pink face from my hair So you can see even with packing a ton on, it just leaves like a really nice shadow. It's not near as boom intense as I normally have. And I'm just gonna blend that up. Because I am crazy, I'm going to use this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna dip into the other one just for like the sake of this to show you both of them. I'm gonna dip into the contour shade. I can't even tell. I haven't swatched them next to each other. It looks like just the tiniest bit darker. The highlight shade is definitely deeper than that one. It's more of a peach tone instead of like a yellowy tone. But we're gonna go with this guy. And a much more dense contour brush to kind of carve out the back of my cheekbone. It's still not terribly dark though. It's a really nice shade. I feel like that's dramatic, a dramatic contour for most people, but that's not for me at all. So it's a nice, it's a softer look than it gives. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. And then just again, for the sake of it, we're gonna use the lighter, the highlight in Dolce de Leche. I'm gonna use a flat paddle brush. don't know if that made any difference, but we're going to go with it. I think if you have even just light skin and not like super fair skin, you're going to get a highlight with this guy. But y'all know me. I will say they're very powdery, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing at all. There's those two, and I'm going to go on to my blush. Yeah, so what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down below, and if you want to see... Let me know what you guys want to see next down below, and thank you so much for watching.